Yo, what's up, YouTube? We are back, and today, flipping equipment. We made a video, the newest stub method on the channel. We've done silver to gold exchange. We've done all of this other stuff, but I told you guys of a method of how to flip equipment. So today, we're gonna go a little bit more in detail, a little bit slower, more hands-on about how this method works, how to do it best, and just some general tips and tricks. Tip number one, do this on the MLB The Show app. And when I say this, we'll get into the method in a second, but just make sure you have the MLB The Show companion app. It'll make your life a lot easier. Now the general method, first, let's just go to gold. The rarity you're gonna to wanna to go to is gold equipment. And you can see, look at the different prices. The prices between the buy now and the sell now are very large. These cards typically aren't traded in high volume, which is why you have to follow the advice I'm about to give you. What you wanna do, go through this list, put in 10, 10 orders for one stub above the sell now. So you're gonna be on the app, you'll put in that order for 337, and you'll do that 10 times. So you'll put in 10 orders for 337 for a card like this. Now what happens when you get this card? When you get 10 of these, you can then sell it for 622, one below the buy now, and you'll make a 230 stub profit just per card. 230 stubs times 10 cards, you're making 2,300 stubs right there, pretty easily. Now you do this for all of these different pieces of equipment. I'm talking going down the entire list and putting in 10 orders for every single one of these cards right here. Every single one. You see we got a bunch of gold equipment. Every single one has really good margins. The margins might be narrowing as this method uh, gets more widespread. But for the most part, you're not gonna have a hard time doing this. You can see there's a bunch of equipment. I'm sure you'll be able to find something especially towards the back end of these pages. That's another tip. If you're on the MLB The Show app, I would just go to the very bottom of the pages because the ones that show up at the top, obviously people who are lazy aren't gonna scroll to the bottom. So if you scroll to the bottom, like I just did, you can see the margins here are three times your stubs instead of on page one, where it's closer to two times for the most part. So that's another tip right there. Another tip. This method doesn't have to apply to only gold cards. This is just kind of a general method with the 10 uh, orders per card. But if you go to diamond stuff, diamond stuff right here, look at this. Two times your stub opportunity, but obviously it costs more stubs and probably less people are gonna be buying it and selling it. So what I would do here, instead of putting in 10 orders, you come in right here and you put in two or three. Put in two or three buy orders right here per card for every single one that has good margins. Now, is there any here, like look at this one. This one, obviously the margins suck. If we were to buy this one for 25, 8, 12, right? That's fine. And then sell it off for 29, 5, 5, 4. You're talking about an 800 stub profit and you just risk 20, you just risk 26K. So obviously don't do that. But you're looking at stuff like this where it's two times or three times your stubs. These ones are about 300 stub flips. That's solid, but these ones are clearly better. So these are the ones you want to put in two or three buy orders for. And you can just keep going and you can think for yourself. Think for yourself because I know that as I post this video, maybe some of the gold equipment goes up in price, maybe some of the diamond stuff goes up in price. But you can scroll through these pages yourself and you can identify this is a really good flip opportunity. You can also go on the MLB The Show app companion app and it'll give you the, the trends. It'll tell you what these prices have been at different points in their history of being in the game. So you can see if the price is going to go down or if it's lower than usual or if it's higher than usual. That way you don't over or underpay. Well, I guess you want to underpay, really. <laughs> but also, it's not just limited to equipment. Sponsorships. If you go to sponsorships, these are all really good flips too. These ones aren't traded in high volume either. It's the same thing as equipment, same method right here. Put in one or two buy orders for all these pieces of equipment as you go. Gold, uh, even the gold, the gold sponsorships. I'm not sure who's buying this for 248 stubs, but I'm sure people do. And you can see, you can buy all of these at their sell now price. Buy them all at their sell now price and then sell it at one less than the current buy now. So it's a really good stub making opportunity right there. Another tip is the sponsorships work. Stadiums, you can see they're not gonna work. Some of these unlockables, unlockables, another easy flip opportunity. You can do this with all the different things in the game and you're making four to five times your stubs. Now you might be thinking to yourself, this does not seem like it's high volume, right? This seems like something that I'm gonna get undercut, stuff isn't gonna go through. Look at my buy orders. I did this method yesterday. I put in 10 per, and yes, a lot of these orders didn't go through, but as we go through every single one of these pages, there's a ton of orders that did go through. And if you do the math, I made about 100K. 
with 25 minutes of buy orders being put in. And, look, and then you look at the sell orders, you can see a bunch of these sell orders also went through as well. So a lot of stubs were made. Now, yeah, you can see right now, a lot of the sell orders didn't go through. A lot of the buy orders didn't go through. So what does that mean? That just means every day, you're gonna have to just come in here and it's super easy to just spam X while on a PlayStation controller. It's really easy to just cancel all these orders in bulk. Do this on the console, definitely not on the app. You can just come in here, press yes, and you can basically just keep pressing X and these will cancel very fast. It's not tedious at all. But those are the tips and tricks for how to do the equipment flipping method. I'm calling it the equipment, you know, do it with perks, do it with whatever you want. You know, be your own person. It's not that hard, figure it out. And thanks, that's the, that's the video. Thanks for watching, join the Discord, join the membership if you wanna be inside access to some of my, some of my stuff making methods before prices shoot up, who to invest in for roster updates and whatnot. Thanks for watching, smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, and let's get rich.